Paul, it's great reading. Your reporting shows a really stark inequity in the American tax system. You've seen the raw data. How lopsided is this? Well, I mean, it's the usually comparisons that we draw in the piece. We're picking, you know, kind of middle class Americans, you know, seventy thousand uh, dollars in, in income is one a comparison we make, and and you know they're seeing about fourteen percent coming out of their paycheck. Um, and you know the, the comparison we make in the piece is, like you said, this tax versus wealth comparison. But even if you look at you know more conventional you know, you know analysis of, of, of effective income tax. You know, we found a uh, an average income tax rate of 16 percent of the top 25 over these five years, and so average Americans, you know, middle class Americans are paying more than that. You know, wealthier Americans, more affluent, you know, particularly wage earners, people earning high salaries, are paying way more than that um, because they, you know, that is effectively being taxed at, at the rate of 37 percent. You know, the article doesn't allege anything illegal, as I said, but do you have a sense from the data you've seen? Exactly how the ultra wealthy avoid paying more taxes? Well, I think the it runs from extremely simple to you know more complex. And the extremely simple end of things is we talk about Warren Buffett. You know he's built this uh, large company that has made him you know over hundred billion dollars in, in wealth, um, and he sim the company doesn't pay him dividends. He doesn't sell. Uh, so when you look at his taxes, you know you see income like fifteen million dollars, twenty million dollars, um, you know which is a lot of money. For most people, but not for Warren Buffett, and it's a pretty simple strategy, and it's a deliberate one on his part. Um, similarly, Elon Musk, you know, who paid zero dollars in federal income tax in 2018, he, you can see from uh, security filings, he he's borrowing a lot um, against his shares, and that is one simple way to avoid taxable income. Is you know, you can get a, a loan at a pretty low rate. We mentioned Carl Icahn in the piece um, has a loan of a billion dollars uh, that's part of secured in part by you know penthouse apartments. Um, so you can get very cheap credit, yeah. and you can use that to invest and do other things. And so, yeah, there's, there's a range of strategies. Your, your report came out this morning. Then this afternoon, we got a news alert that the IRS is investigating how this got leaked to ProPublica. I'm not asking about your sources. But are you able to reveal any information about why it may have been given to you? Well, what we think is important for people to know is that this wasn't, you know, cherry-picked or tailored in any way. We got a very large amount of information. We spent many months uh, working through it, making sure that it was authentic, um, making sure we understood it, and making sure that it wasn't, you know, as I said, tailored in some way, that we could come to our own conclusions about what we wanted to say about it and what it was saying. Um, and we, we plan on doing more stories about that. And, and whenever we do a story and decide to do a story because we think it's an important topic for people to know about, we're going to approach anyone who's mentioned that story. We're going to provide them with the figures, as we did in this case, that we're going to be publishing, and they'll have a chance to respond. And, and I think that should give people real confidence that these numbers are authentic. Paul Keel from ProPublica, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.